It's LinkedIn Learning author Monica Wahi with today's Data Science Makeover. Watch while Monica Wahi demonstrates how to customize ggplot2 with hexadecimal colors using the Coolers app in R. If you know me, you are probably surprised by what you see. It is not the R GUI interface. It is actually an online app called coolers.co. And you can create a free account. As you can see, I am logged in. Let's go to my saved palettes. See this one? Tea Party? I recently used that for something. Let's click on View. See these delicious colors? Makes me want to do interior design or something, doesn't it? Please talk me down. Okay, I am absolutely salivating over this grape purple. Now, let's say you wanted this grape color as a bar in your ggplot bar chart. If you could figure out how to control ggplot enough to specify the color of one bar, you could tell it to make the color be this. See this hashtag? It's not actually a hashtag, I found out. It's actually this grape color in hexadecimal. I know what you're thinking. This grape color is too saturated. But then, look what I can do. See this alternative shade spot? Let's click it. See? Now we have this array of colors. And you can find out their hexes too. And by the way, how I found this palette this is called the palette, was by clicking here on Explore. See that? And then I just shop around until I found the palette I like. Okay, enough shopping for colors. Let's go to R. All right, so here's our code. See here? This is where we read in the plot data we prepared for ggplot. Oh yeah, I talked about that in another video. I'll link to it in the description. Also, don't forget that this plot is actually from a use case, a real life use case, like a suitcase. Here's the reference. And I link to it in the description so you can go read it. Okay, here's us calling out the ggplot package. All right, this is what I wanted to show you. I already know my plot has four bars because I had four groups, A, B, C, and D. So I picked out four sexy, hexy colors from coolers like I just showed you. And then I put them in a character string. See here, this vector called cool underscore colors. Do you know how to make a vector? I can link you to a video about that in the description. Okay, now here's the big ggplot command. If you're to watch my video where I read in the data, You'll see I run the plot with the default colors, and they are not really ugly, but honestly, I'm just sick of looking at them. So I'm going to show you how I'm modifying that code to put in our new sexy hexy colors. See this color equals black at the end of the geome underscore bar line? That's new. I'm basically making all of the bars black here, but then... Down here, we have a new ggplot line. This is scale underscore fill underscore manual. And the only argument we will set is values. And the values are, you guessed it, cool underscore colors, our sexy hexy color vector. How about that? Okay, for comparison, first, I will run this ugly default code down here. Let's do that. All right, see the colors? Memorize them. Now, we are going to remake the plot with cool colors. Okay, you ready? Here we go. Oh my god, such beauty. Such scrumptious colors. Kind of looks like a beach ball, doesn't it? Now I want to go to the beach. Really, this is just a heavenly plot compared to what we were just looking at. Cool colors is definitely a way to make your data gorgeous. Thank you for watching this Data Science Makeover with LinkedIn Learning author Monica Wahi. Remember to check out Monica's Data Science courses on LinkedIn Learning. Click on the link in the description.